urinary obstruction is the topic of today's lecture if urinary obstruction is not taken care of it may end up ultimately with kidney failure now urinary obstruction anastasis can be congenital present at the time of birth or it can be acquired later on in the life it could be acute as acute retention of urine or it could be chronic such as a stone which has been present for a long time in the ureter or it could be complete completely blocking the lumen of the uh, any of the tube of the genitourinary tract like ureter urethra and so on or it could be partial obstruction the lumen is not blocked completely but there is still some passage for the urine to flow down and the other important factor is the site whether it is complete or it is incomplete uh, site uh, where where is the obstruction is it in the uh, lower tract like urethra or is it in the bladder or is it in the ureter now most of the congenital anomalies uh, in the urinary tract are obstructive in nature and uh, starting distally uh if we look at the uh, distal penis and the glands and the external meters uh you can get stenosis right at the external meters what is known as metal stenosis this could be narrowed and this could be narrowed and cause obstruction or the opening can be either lower down somewhere over here or it could be opening could be higher up if it is lower down it is hypo spadiasis or it is if it is higher up it is ap spadiasis and if the opening is abnormal there can be difficulty in passage of the urine coming higher up uh, in the urethra uh, sometimes congenitally you get presence of what are known as posterior urethral valves these are diaphragmatic septum like uh, uh, projection inside the lumen in the posterior urethra and this can cause these are known as posterior urethral valves and this can cause obstruction to the flow of urine causing uh, problems with uh, hyalonephros uh, problems in the bladder and so on which we are going to discuss in a minute Now coming higher up in the bladder, uh, uh, there could be obstruction where the ureter opens into the uh, bladder. That's the kidney. Uh, this is the pelvis. That's the pelvis. This is the ureter, and the ureter opens up into the bladder, and this is known as. urethral vesical junction two way junction as the bladder the opening is over here as the bladder and another opening and you can get narrowing over here uvj junction or you can get narrowing over here that is known as pelvic uretic junction obstruction so the congenital congenital causes of obstruction are external 
metal stenosis, posterior urethral valves, uh, UVJ obstruction where the ureter opens into the bladder, or pelvic ureteric junction obstruction where pelvis opens into the ureter. Acquired causes are many, and uh, starting from um, uh, lower down into the bladder uh, and the urethra the acquired causes could be related to the bladder and the urethra uh, you can get narrowing of the urethra due to inflammation and this is known as uh, stricture stricture of the uh, ureter uh, stricture of the urethra and most of these strictures, that's the urethra, and uh, you can get narrowing due to stricture formation. Most of these strictures are inflammatory in nature uh, due to urethritis, could be related to uh, inflammation, repeated inflammation. It could also be due to trauma and uh, sometimes it may be due to a catheterization where the catheter has not been taken care of. Uh, coming into the bladder, uh, the obstruction could be due to enlarged prostate which will cause uh, out bladder outflow obstruction and you will get uh, obstruction in both the ureters, bilateral hydro nephrosis or you can get obstruction uh, in the just the dejunction where the ureter opens into the bladder so they may be due to tumor uh, which is involving the junction uh, you can get tumor over here which can completely destroy bladder tumor either it can destroy unilaterally or the bladder tumor if it is encroaching the the whole of the trigon it can destroy the uh, bladder neck as well as the bilateral uh, ureteric orifices causing obstruction higher up uh, in the uh, ureter uh, you can divide the causes inside the lumen or you can divide the causes in the wall or outside the lumen. In the lumen uh, you can get stone, stone urinary bladder, uh, stone impacted in the lower end of the ureter causing obstruction, uh, causing complete or partial obstruction or you can get strictures again narrowing of the ureter and these strictures again are mostly inflammatory like TB strictures or you can get outside the lumen you can get a lymph node a metastatic lymph node pressing outside the lumen in the ureter very hard very stony hard lymph nodes causing external pressure and leading to hydronephrosis uh, we'll discuss the pathogenesis, pathophysiology of obstruction in our next lecture.